Because I'm with you Through thick and thin Whatever trouble you are in I don't care whatever you do Just know that I love you Oh, oh. oh I love you There we go. Hi, everybody. I'm on the stage at the Nomad, and this is a special episode of the Smokin' Joe Show. Smokin' Joe Show. First and foremost, I always encourage everyone to please share and please subscribe. So if you're watching this right now on Facebook, please share it on your pages, on your own pages, on your friends' pages. So everybody watches and comments and talks. It's really fun that way. And if you're watching this in the future, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Joe Scarpolino. Yes, I know. I make you spell my last name, and you're going to have to get used to it for a while until I can change my YouTube name. All right. Well, we will start with the weekend get down. Everything getting down around town this weekend. I will start with one. I'm a huge fan of this, and it's happening right now. Beck is at the Armory. Beck is here. Everyone who's here, obviously, either you know couldn't swing it or couldn't make it out to Beck. But if you're on your way there, if you are there, I'm sure that Beck is putting on a wonderful performance right now as we speak. Uh, happening in town, our good friends and Galactic Get Down veterans Space Monster are playing tonight at the VFW. And I can tell you right now that if you're coming down to the Nomad, you could come down to the Nomad and watch this entire show and then go to the VFW and catch Space Monster as well. It's not mutually exclusive, so if you want to go to both, come on down here and head on down to Space Monster at Uptown VFW with Rampant Roots. There's no cover and the show doesn't even start until 10. So that is neat. Tomorrow night we have Frogleg in the suburbs. Frogleg is playing at Turtles. I originally thought this was Tuttles, but it's not. It is Turtles in Shakopee, Minnesota. They're doing 12 bucks at the door. It starts at 8 p.m., 21 plus. I think they're working on shuttles and stuff down. So if you're a Frogleg fan, you know, it's pretty much in the cities. Head on down to Turtles in Shakopee tomorrow. And anybody watching from Wisconsin, hello if you're uh, watching from Wisconsin. Uh, we have Iftikar and Short Branch in Nina, Wisconsin. I'm a big fan of Nina, Wisconsin. I play there a lot. Uh, music starts at 9.30. It's 21 plus, no cover. Iftikar, good friends of mine. Make sure to go check them out. Saturday, I have a show. Smoke and Joe is playing. Smoke and Joe is playing with Heatbox in East Bethel, uh, Minnesota, at the Blue Ribbon Pines Golf Course. Uh, that is where a Big Woo family reunion was. Um, it's a, there's a disc golf tournament during the day with registration starting at 11 p.m. And uh, I have a little, little blurb here I'm going to read because I didn't want to paraphrase. Get your people together for a great night of music, beer, and food at Blue Ribbon Pines Disc Golf Course in East Bethel. This year we are going bigger and better. We are excited to announce that we have booked the extremely talented Heat Box along with the regularly talented Smokin' Joe and DJ Litch. <laughs> I, uh, I <laughs> yeah, I, uh, they didn't say that. I said that. Um, all proceeds from the concert will go directly to the Pack family of Coon Rapids to help with their son, Casey, who is currently battling cancer. So not only is it, you know, going to be a fun time, it's for a great cause. Um, all the festivities will kick off with DJ Litch hitting the stage 5.30 to 7. Smoking Joe, that's me, will go on 7.30 to 9. And we will finish up with Heatbox, who will be on from 9 to 10.30. And I can pretty much guarantee you I'll be up on stage with Heatbox um, doing some sort of word battle. I don't know if you saw the heat box episode of the Smoke and Joe show, but I'm sure it'll be something like that. Maybe we'll reprise our uh, Eat Your Heart and Gain Your Knowledge song. Because we made up a song about eating people's hearts and gaining them. Ooh, there's more here. Beer, liquor, and food will be available throughout the night. Also, there will be a huge raffle with tons of prizes. So there you go. Hope to see you out there to help us support this great cause. And there's a free sober ride service. Holy cow, are they thinking of us. Speaking of good causes, right here in the city on Saturday, there's Shout Out Loud, a suicide prevention charity in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Uh, Tiny Acorn Portraits and Synergy E-Therapy are going to put on a big charity event at Copper Wing Distillery in St. Louis Park this Saturday to bring awareness to suicide prevention in our local community. This event will feature family friendly with local band. This event will be family friendly with local bands, food trucks, red carpet step. Ooh, fancy. Repeat photo area, drinks, kids, kid friendly stuff. 
uh, they're going to be working with nonprofit agencies, um, and they, they need your help to ensure that their event can be a comfortable, fun, and inviting atmosphere for all to enjoy while raising money for suicide prevention. And I think that's all day Saturday, but Saturday night, you better get your butt on down. If you're not coming to see Heat Box and Smoking Joe up in East Bethel, if you're going to stay in the city, John Wynn in the Pain has a big show at the Caboose with New Sound Underground and Cancer. And Cancer, if you guys know Big Zach, um, you know, they, they don't play that much, but Big Zach is, is a big part of cancer, and I'm excited that he's getting back in the fold. And Sunday, the Twin Cities Veg Fest, which I, agree, I believe is a vegetable festival, is a free event offering you a glimpse into all things plant-based in our area and beyond. Vendors, speakers, cooking demos, kid zone, everything's so kid-friendly these days. If you're curious about veg eating, interested in trying new products, or just looking for a fun and free thing to do, Go to VegFest, homies. Go to VegFest. And of course, I might as well plug what we're doing right now, the Jueves de Musica, brought to you by the Romer Dome Familia. Romer Dome Familia, right here, right here at the Nomad. Nomad World Pub, West Bank, Minneapolis. This is every Thursday in September. I will be here. We'll all be here. I'll be up here on the stage. We're get, we've got it all worked out. Each time I, before these things... Like 10 minutes before we're supposed to start, everything's askew, and then the last 10 minutes it all comes together. That's exactly what happened today, and I'm really, I'm hopefully, I'm glad this looks so profesh. So thanks to Vicarious Visions, John Marin back there, <laughs> for slaying it on the live streaming. Um, also, last night was amazing. Every Wednesday, hopefully for the foreseeable future, at least September and October, we got Max Graham in the fam. I'm in the fam. I'm a backup singer, which is super fun. I got to shake my little tambourine all night last night. It was really fun. Uh, but Max Graham is holding down, bringing Wednesdays back to the caboose every Wednesday in September. And, uh, you know, I think there's a Smoking Joe one in October. And I want to say, oh, man, I don't know who's coming up this next Wednesday. But I'm sure you can read probably better than I can. So read that little flyer, and whoever it says is next, that's who's playing. Uh, yeah, and then happening at the, uh, the last weekend, or second to last weekend of this month, is the Nomadic Get Down, the Galactic Get Down Cruise next event called the Nomadic Get Down featuring Reed Grimm, Dead Larry, uh, Super Acoustic Brothers, which is a super group featuring Heatbox, Reed Grimm, Alex Steele of uh, Roster McCabe slash Night Phoenix fame, as well as Nick Spielman, the bass player of Useful Jenkins, will be playing with them. I know Nick Spielman has no idea what they're going to play. I don't think any of them do. We also have Mae Simpson, powerhouse blues funk front woman. She's amazing. Her whole band's amazing, featuring Romy of Romer Dome Familia. And, of course, kicking off the day for no Nomadic Get Down is Smokin' Joe. Uh, that will be Sunday, September 23rd, right here at the Nomad, but we'll be outside. Uh, you know, the weather, the weather has been so nice to us this year. I have no doubt in my mind that, uh, that it, will, it will be nice to us. And we will be here, and there will be kids' activities and food and craft and art. And, you know, we're just going to create a little festival vibe for a day here in September, September 23rd. Huh, so that's all I got getting down this weekend. Um, I do have to say that last week was our first time doing uh, this show live at a bar and the first like 15 minutes of the show got a little messed up and we lost the entire performance due to uh, connective connectivity issues and and we we cut out and had to miss out on the entire okay to change performance so i found a <laughs> i found a uh, video of theirs from i believe it's shangri-la last year could be this year without really fast i think it was shangri-la last year um, where OK to Change plays, and I wanted to make sure they were featured on this show. OK to Change, uh, from they live in Hawaii, I believe, and they were in town last week. They played on the show, but they didn't make it on the show. So to make up for that, this is OK to Change with their song Trees, live at Harmony Park. All right, now game. Running to the trees, See, running, I'm running, I'm running to the trees. Text message, phone calls, and emails try to catch me with the money. Running, I'm running, I'm running to the trees. Babylon's trying to take me back to the street. They can't catch me because I'm motherfucking running. Come on, feel a little bit reckless. I'm on the chase for that success, so there's no rest for that spit. It's all this bullshit with the Lexus. Feel the stress, I never mind. Away, we're all chosen, our worries are fate. 
away where you and I can just lay all day. And if you're coming for me, you're gonna find me running. Running, I'm running, I'm running to the trees. See, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running to the trees. Text message calls me. So that was okay to change. That was a good. That was a good representation of them, I believe. Very good video. Um, so here I have two two lovely folks here to join me in a game I like to call "Liar, Liar, Pants on Fire." And if you guys were could see the graphics, it's beautiful. I made it myself. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is Olivia Quintanilla right here to my right. Hello. Might have seen her uh, shred cello at anywhere ever. She plays everywhere all the time. Uh, do you just want to say, say hi? Hello. There we go. <laughs> uh, and then to my far right, we got Sammy Danger Strings right there. <laughs> Danger's my middle name. Danger. You know, <laughs> my drummer, Schwa, of Dead Larry, he literally, when he got married, his wife changed her name to Felling, and he changed his middle name. His middle name was Lee, and he changed it to Dangerous Dash Lee. So his name is it's actually true. Dangerous Lee Felling. <laughs> so his name is middle name is dangerously, which is true. That's As, awesome. <laughs> speaking of truth and not truth, the, here's the rules to the game. We each have written down one 
we have two two stories written down, uh, and and one of them is true and one of them is not true. And then you, let's see. We'll start with me. You guys will decide whether you, uh, you pick one or two, and then because you don't know which one is which, and then I read that one, this story or fact about myself, and then you have 60 seconds to ask me as many questions about this story to tell if I'm lying or if I'm telling the truth. And then at the end of the 60 seconds, you guys pick, and I reveal, and uh, nobody ever actually wins uh, any actual <laughs> points or anything, but, you know, you can brag later, <laughs> essentially. So I bet you a drink ticket. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I will take that because I, I, I have very, you know, I guess I might need another Red Bull. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, ooh, and then uh, big ups to, uh, to Vicarious Visions. John Marin made a really cool stop, stop clock. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. It's on fire to match the pants. <laughs> <laughs> liar, liar, stop clock's on fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> liar, liar, countdown clock on fire. Okay, so one or two. Guys, yeah, decide. Two. 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 My dad once shared a cab with LeVar Burton. <laughs> Who is LeVar Burton? <laughs> He's the one from the Reading Rainbow. So yeah, start the clock. 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 There we go. Right. <laughs> Who is LeVar Burton? Okay, LeVar Burton played Lieutenant Jordy LaForge on Star Trek. He was also the star of Reading Rainbow. Reading Rainbow. I remember that. All right. Uh, where where was your dad going? He was in St. Louis, and he was going he was going back to a restaurant from a Cardinals game. He, he had just watched a Cardinals game, and he took a cab from the Cardinals game to a restaurant. I was obviously not with him. This was when I was like four, but it was like it was while Star Trek was big. Like the next gen was like. Why was Lavar Burton also at the Cardinals game? Lavar Burton was also at the Cardinals game, which you find out he was actually a huge Cardinals fan. So, dumb question. You said he shared a cab. He shared a cab. I thought you said cat. Okay, Not that cat. things up. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be harder to believe. Were they sharing it back to the hotel? They were, <laughs> they were not sharing it back to a hotel. I mean, maybe. You know, I mean, I'm sure there's things my dad didn't tell me about his life. <laughs> Did they get the honeymoon suite together is the real question. <laughs> was he wearing a visor? He was not wearing a visor. He Damn was, it. I believe he was wearing, you know, normal, you know, Cardinals go. All right, that's clothes. time's up. Um, Ti time's up. Oh, oh. I... I feel like I already knew this to be true. What do you say? I, I think you answered all those questions way too confidently. It's it got to be true. It is a lie, everybody. Why? Damn it. I made it up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, he got us. Wow. I have played this game before, so you, you you're at a disadvantage. <laughs> I'm just a great liar. So <laughs> Everybody put that in your memory banks. <laughs> Joe's a great liar. <laughs> anyway, so we'll go to Olivia. All right, she has uh, one, gentlemen, one or two. One true statement, one f fucking lie. Uh, uh, one? Yeah, we'll go let's, with one. Let's go one. We'll okay. Go one. All right. <clears throat> um, I had to go to the emergency room because I stabbed myself in the eye with tweezers. <laughs> All right, start the clock. So, I mean, were you, were you plucking your eyebrows? What was happening here? Yes, I was, uh, well, I was attempting to pluck my eyebrows. How old were you? Uh, I was about 14. 14. So, so you were new at this. Kind of. Th this was unintentional, it sounds like. Yes. <laughs> right. Did you have to go to the emergency room? I did. Because... <laughs> and then what happened? <laughs> it took a while. They had to do the whole, the, like, ink and numbing thing. Red. Uh, no, I actually didn't know. I stabbed <laughs> myself in the eye for a while. It was so tiny, the doctor couldn't find it. Oop, that's zero. I'm going to say that was a bullshit lie. Yeah, I want to say you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. Oh. <laughs> Your answers were all over the place. <laughs> I could have swore that was a lie. I knew my lie better. <laughs> than you knew your own truth, man. Yeah, to, uh, speak um, your truth. Turns out I'm not good at this game. Yeah. Guys. yeah so, so far, <laughs> we've won. So far. So, Sammy, all you have to do to, to tie is not lose. All right, let's see if we can uh, be in it to tie it here. All right, one or two, guys. We're going to go with one, Bob. All right. <laughs> I once sang a whole verse and chorus of Jay-Z's 99 Problems at Warped Tour. At Warped Tour. Start the clock. Um, what year? Yeah, ooh. 
Ooh, year. I think it was 2009. 2009. Like, you, like on a stage or just like while you were there? Well, the band <laughs> that was on the stage handed the microphone to me, and I faced the audience of about five, 600 people <laughs> and proceeded to shred it. What so. band? Um, it was a band called Animo. They were like an alt punk rock band. Nice. Yeah, they liked me Animo. a lot. Nice. Did they shred it? They did shred, yeah. They, they shredded pretty fucking hard. <laughs> pretty fucking hard. So was this a glorified karaoke, or did you have a live band before, well, behind Well, the, ban- the whole band was playing, and they liked me, because I was like p- trying to pull people over. I never heard them before. And they're like, hey, this guy, you're awesome. What's your name? I'm like, mm-hmm. Sam. Sam what? Sam fucking Barba. They're like, all right, <laughs> Sam fucking Barba, this song's for you. And I told them to give me the microphone, because I knew the song. So that's what happened. But was oh uh, it's over. But okay. just one okay. I'm gonna say that's true. That was he seemed fa- he seemed fairly knowledgeable, but I feel like we all our past is hazier than our lies. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm just gonna go with lie just to just, just cause. cause. It was true. Yes, <laughs> that was my claim nice. to fame, guys. <laughs> with animal. Look at you now. Yes, and I've never heard of Animo ever again. <laughs> Someday on this show, I'm going to get to use stuff that like you don't know. Because when Olivia is playing this game with me, I have some stuff, but she knows a lot of my stories. <laughs> like, did you know that I played on stage with Coolio? No. Coolio the rapper wow. in Mankato. <laughs> <laughs> in Mankato of all places. Wow. I know. Yeah. It's unbelievable. That's why I want to use that someday. <laughs> if I'm ever on Jimmy Fallon, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you, know, uh, you know, since we're not selling this show or anything, you know, we don't have any copyright infringement. But all, most of my shows are stolen from Jimmy Fallon. He's very good. <laughs> He's very good at the shows. Yes, that's um, true. So let me look at my, my little thing. Uh, well, Olivia, what, do you have, what shows do you have coming up? Do you have, uh, I know UJ has like uh, at least one, one more show this month. Is that true? Yeah, that is true. Uh, well, tonight I'm playing with Smoke, with String Fury. <laughs> String Fury, tonight at the Nomad. If you're not here, get here. Yeah, and then this weekend I'm playing with you, Smokin' Joe, with Heatbox. Smokin' Joe. Um, uh, yeah, at the end of the month, Yusel Jenkins is playing Beef O'Rama. Oh, Beef O'Rama. Rama, Rama. Uh, in Manaqua, <laughs> Wisconsin. Uh, we of course. Did it, we did it last year, and we are just like, what the heck is Beef O'Rama? <laughs> um, it is really like they closed down the, in, like, Manaqua is like one street. And everyone just drinks beer and eats meat and cheese. Uh, last year, me and Chuck Bokey took a really beautiful photo of us together with a, with a um, taxiderm head of a deer. It was, it was really pretty. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're doing that again. Um, and then I'm kind of, we're just kind of taking a little bit of a break. Yeah, I think, you know, it was, a, it was then, a crazy season, Yeah, I think season, the, next, the next really big thing is the... the the Wookie Foot, Wookie Foot anniversary hoedown. Yeah, Wookie Foot front back porch hoedown. So I think it might be a side porch hoedown. Side porch. <laughs> yeah. Side porch. We're on the side porch. We're going to be yeah. in, in Studio B uh, <laughs> right before uh, Wookie Foot at, at the Sky Skyway. The Skyway. Cool, nice. man. And Skyway, then, Sammy, Skyway, what are you up Skyway. to these days? Anything you want to plug? Oh, other than other than the Romer Dome being here every Thursday, well, uh, well, Romer Dome Familia is playing with uh, Max Graham and Fam next week at the Caboose on Wednesday for their residency. That should be a good time. Yeah, that um, dude, it's been going great. I feel like Wednesdays are back, man. Yeah, well, we're, we'll see how we shred it. We literally do not practice; it's just kind of <laughs> improv. So we'll see how it goes. Um, other than that. Uh, my newer project, Wheelchair Jimmy, is going to be playing back here at the Nomad. We played here last night, actually, but we'll be playing here again on the 27th, Thursday, for the closer of our residency here at the oh, Nomad. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I will be here. Oh, yeah. And we'll do, we'll do this again. We'll have some more games. So for now, we're going to say goodbye to our game guests. Thank you so much for playing. Thank Fucking you, Joe. Fucking shred it, Joe! <laughs> and then we're going to get uh, Tristan and Jeremy. You guys want to come up here and come talk yeah. to me? Nice. And then, Jeremy, if you want to kind of... There's a DI for your fiddle if you want to pull it out real quick. <laughs> and we can plug that in. We're doing things on the fly here. Um, and then, John, if you want to... It's Tristan and Jeremy that are coming up. We want to get the names ready. Or you could just put Midnight Postal Service. I think I have all the names, though. Nice. 
do 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 come and have a seat. Pick a chair. Pick a chair. Hello. There's two. There's two in the Taylor case. Oh, you do? Okay, cool. Doing it live. Here I am. Nice. Well, hello. Hello. Is this your first time being on a live stream podcast? Uh, yes, this would be my first time. Nice. Isn't it weird? Uh, <laughs> Incredibly freaky. But yeah, I know. Cool. We're on a table on a stage in a venue, but we're also in the homes of people. Whoa. Now, live and in the future. <laughs> Trippy. Um, so, while, we're, while Jeremy's getting his uh, fiddle plugged in, I don't know. Do you, do you say he plays violin or he plays fiddle? Is there a difference? Do you differentiate? Violin? He usually says violin, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, obviously they're the same instrument, right? It's yeah. just the way you play it? Yeah, I think it's more of how you play it. Right? Because Carrie Joy will be like, she plays fiddle. Yeah. She definitely. doesn't play violin, she plays fiddle. Exactly. You know? <laughs> so I don't know what the exact difference is. I think maybe the Irish thing. If it's safest, you can just set it on the table. Yeah. Pretty safe. Yep, pretty safe. So tell us about your band. Uh, when did you guys get started? Um, goodness gracious. Uh, we have just recently started this uh, Midnight Postal Service. Uh, yeah, like within the last year? Yeah, it was this summer, actually. Yeah, it would have been in April when I got back from Hawaii. Oh, so you're with the Hawaii folks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Because uh, we had a ton of those, the Hawaii Aloha tribe, as it were, yeah. on the show last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a huge influx for Shangri-La. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so let's see, Jeremy here and Tristan there. Yep, Hello. we got it. Perfect. Nice. nice. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Biggest musical influences. What do you guys got? For me, it's Dispatch. So I'd like to plug the Dispatch show tomorrow. Oh, they have the Dispatch show tomorrow. That I, that I, 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 I totally forgot. Uh, uh -huh. but yeah, Dispatch with Nako. Yep. Arr my Not biggest go. music influence would probably have to be, uh, I would say currently Ryan Montablue. Ryan who? Ryan Montablue. Who is Ryan Montablue? Uh, he's just some solo artist. Is he really like singer-songwriter and stuff? Yeah, but he has like full band stuff too. He's pretty solid. Yeah, cool. He's phenomenal. Know. Actually. Nice. Appealing to listen to. That's awesome. I will check it out. I always like learning, especially about songwriters. You know, I'm big yeah. on songwriters. Paul Simon, I would say, is oh, one yeah. of my biggest ones. Paul Simon, Radiohead, and Metallica kind of yeah, like man. make up <laughs> like what makes me me. <laughs> like, they're very extremely different. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's variety. Yeah. You know, nine, nine, the Smoking Joe radio show, wide variety. <laughs> Um, so I know you probably don't know what song you're going to play, but if you do know what song you're going to play, you can tell us what it's about. Um, well, it's more or less just about like being content with where you're at in life. And if you're not like, do you want more? And what is it if you really do like, you know, what are you searching for? Yeah. And, uh, do you both sing? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So here was what we're going to do. We're going to take like 30 seconds and we're going to move this and that mic, this microphone, and that microphone, and that guitar, and you guys will stand up here in front of the table. Okay. Cool. That works. Cool. So let's play a song. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's an audience here. This is probably one of the coolest things I've ever done. So just so y'all know. The Smoking Joe Show. This is every Thursday at 8 p.m. I do it usually from my apartment, so it's really easy. And these, uh. Yeah. 
a work of art tell them that you love them right before you go to park cause you never know if you have tomorrow but you're buried in your sorrow when you borrow with your soul so to the highest bidder mama didn't raise no quitter don't believe in god but i'll never be a sinner but a winner when i'm with you never switch up when i kiss you even when you're gone no i'll always miss you but this is what i wish for we all need an encore Whisper in my ear Sing a baby, baby do you want more? What are you good for? What are you good for? Baby do you want more? What are you good for? Get it, Jeremy. We stand united, we fall, taking the blame that we did nothing at all. All of these things I have mentioned, just to ease the tension, but they will shoot you down just to get a pension. Attention on me, intentionally presenting these dreams as complex as it seems. It's all right to ask questions when you, you are, are in doubt. doubt. Seeking Answers and you might find out it was right in front of you the whole damn time. When you feel like you're out of your mind, but inside yourself, you will find that you are divine. Baby, do you want more? What are you good for? Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. Smoking Joe show. It's been a pleasure. So that was Midnight Postal Service, everybody. 
they'll be back on tonight. They are closing it out. But, you know, this is, this is not the latest night show. So, you know, if you have to work tomorrow, you can still come down and see them and get to bed at a reasonable hour. Don't pretend <laughs> like you can't. Uh, let's plug it, unplug it. You are good. Thank you so much, Tristan, Jeremy. Well, let's see. I'm just going to stay right here so we don't have to mess with the stuff. We're going to get Mike up here, Mikey D, who I saw for the first time, I guess saw and heard through headphones for the first time uh, at Shangri-La this year. Let's see. Which side is best for you? I guess probably in the middle. Yeah, I kind of play right in the middle. Okay, you play right in the middle. But for the, in for the interview's sake, we'll just stand right here, unless you want to sit down. Okay. Well, hello. 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 So, Mike, Mikey D, what's 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 your preferred I, name? I, pref I, like, I, I go by Mikey D just because it's easier than searching my whole name. You yeah. Know, like explaining to people how to spell Devani is confusing. Oh, man, Scarpolino. Right. You get it. You totally get it. Um, <laughs> it's a whole thing. So, I just go by Mikey D. Mikey D. All right. And how long have you been doing this particular thing? This particular thing, just a couple years, uh, I, I started off being like kind of, I was really influenced by Chris Caraba and Dashboard Confessional and okay. that whole kind of thing. So I, I picked up uh, the acoustic and did singer-songwriter stuff. And then I hear that. I, uh, I actually gave up for like eight years. Oh, no. I got like, I got a corporate job and a yeah. girlfriend and I just, I didn't do anything. <laughs> got a corporate job and a girlfriend. But yeah, no, I gave that up. I mean, up. there are good parts to that, like money, stability. And yeah, you know, definitely. If you can place to live, things like that. Is that really important? <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah, no. So I, I did that thing, and uh, I realized that that's that life's just not for me, and yeah. I, I I didn't fit into that mold. So I moved back to Fargo and uh, picked up a job at a bar, and I met some people and started doing this. Are you from Fargo? Do you live in Fargo? Right I do now? live in Fargo. So you drove down here for this? Just for this. Ah, that's so cool. Just to be on Smoke and Joe. Yeah, just to, just to be on the show. Not I'm actually going to gonna skip out on my performance. Yeah, too. just this is enough. Um, so yeah, I love Fargo. Do you play Dempsey's up there? I, yeah, that's where I work, actually. You, oh, you work at Dempsey's. I that's a wonderful Dempsey's. place. Yep. Uh, I will be, Smoke and Joe will be there with Space Monkey Mafia at the end of the month. Well, I'll probably so, be there hanging out. Nice, dude. That's great. Uh, so let's see. I asked them, I'll ask you, what's one or like, what are you biggest musical influences? Like who, oh, who's, who's your shit? It, it, you know, it is, it's, it's so wide ranging to, it's right. hard to like pin it down. But I think um, Adam Jones Adam from Tool. Jones from Tool. Uh, he was a huge influence when I was younger. Um, but Keller Williams. Yeah, Kel that makes sense. Keller Williams, Andrew Bird. Um, ah, also Andrew huge Bird. for me. Um, Anybody that made instruments do things that most people thought they couldn't do. Right. Just, I love that. Do you know, let's see, of looper stardom, do you know Heatbox? Oh, of course Heatbox. Okay, do you know Zach Deputy? I, of course. I've got a signed yeah. Zach Deputy poster nice. in my room. Nice, like, whenever it's, <laughs> it's like, oh, you loop? Well, I know these guys. Like, <laughs> I know Zach Deputy. Yeah, we hung out at Plunderfest. He's great. He's, I, he, he, played, he played a house party once what? At a, in, here in, in Minnesota. It was insane. Zach deputy at a house I would, party. I, honestly, I, I was working at Dempsey's, and he, he just walked in and through the back door, and I was walking up to him. And I, I just geeked out fanboy style, like, hey, man, I, can, I, can you sign my poster? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, it's funny, you know, because I'm sure as you progress, and I mean, obviously, you know, you played, played Shangri-La, and you've been Which playing more and more shows. Yeah, it's um, been crazy. You know, you'll probably just get to a point where you're friends. I would love that. <laughs> you know? I would really like that. I used to be this huge Heatbox fanboy, and now it's just like ever since he had his game show, we uh, we just been hanging out. Dude, seriously, his Shangri La set was so killer. It was killer. That was really good. It was it, honestly there were three three times that I teared up at Shangri. It was my first time coming home. Um, one was Useful Jenkins. That was wonderful. I, Woo! I got some I got some tears in my eyes for that. Mike Love. Yeah. And then in Heatbox, just and heat box. watching that dude do what he does is incredible. Yeah, and he just makes it look so easy. He's just like, right. rah, 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 whatever. Oh. Man down. It's all right. Let me check. It's okay. I got a tuner. We're cool. We got a tuner, and, you know, it's live. What do you do? Hey, man. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to move this microphone, and I'm going to get out of this place. <laughs> <laughs> and then good. we're going to watch some Mikey D. I'll come out. I'll say goodbye. And then, uh, and then we'll start this show here at the Nomad. So, if you're not here, get here. There's some cable spaghetti going on here. I'm gonna take my shoes off.
All right, dudes. So I'm going to do a quick song here. I don't, Joe didn't tell me how long I had to play, so I'm just going to do a quick uh, cover. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh, what? A quick song? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to start off with uh, what I call my attention getter song just because people know it. This is uh, Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe by Kendrick Lamar. Grab a drink, I got my music, I would share it, but today I'm yelling, bitch, don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Look inside of my soul and you can find gold and maybe get rich. 
Crook inside of your soul and you can find out it never exists. I can feel the changes. I can feel a new life. I always knew life could be dangerous. You tell me that you like a challenge, but you to me is painless. You don't know what pain is. How can I paint this picture when the colorblind is hanging with you? Fell on my face and I woke with a scar. Another mistake living deep in my heart. Wear it on top of my sleeve and a flick. I can admit that it's even like yours. Why you resent every making of this? Tell me your purpose is ready again. But even a smile that I can't burn a bridge. Even a smile that I can't burn a bridge. I can feel the changes. I can feel the new people around me just want to be famous. You can see that my city found me, then put me on stages. To me, that's amazing. To you, that's a quick check. With all disrespect, let me say this. I am a sinner who probably gonna sin again. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me the things I don't understand. Sometimes I need to be alone. This don't kill my vibe, this don't kill my vibe I can feel your energy from two planets away Got a drink, I got my music, I will share it But today I'm yelling, this don't kill my vibe This don't kill my vibe I'm trying to keep it alive and not compromise the feeling we love You trying to keep it to project and only co-sign what radio does And I'm looking right past you we live in a world, we live in a world on two different axes. You live in a world, you live in behind the mirror. I know what you're scared of, the feeling of feeling emotions of fear in you. This shit is vital, I know you had to. This shit is vital, I know you had to die in a pitiful vein. Tell me I'm watching a chain, it's way more believable. Give me a feasible game, rather a seasonal name. I'll let the people know this is something you can blame. On yourself, you can remain stuck in a box. I'ma break out and then hide every lock. I'ma break out and then hide every lock. I can feel the changes. I can feel the new people around me just want to be famous. You can see that my city found me, then put me on stages. To me, that's amazing. To you, that's a quick check. With all disrespect, let me say this. I am a sinner who probably gonna sin again. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me the things I don't understand. Sometimes I need to be alone. This don't kill my vibe. This don't kill my vibe. I can feel your energy from two planets away. Got my drink, I got my music, I will share it, but today I'm yelling, bitch, who kill my vibe? Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. You ain't heard the coast like this in a long time. Don't you see that long line? They waiting on Kendrick like the first and the fifteenth. Three's in the air and I can see you are in sync. How's your feelings? How's your feelings now? What you better do? Take your girlfriend and put that pussy on a pedestal. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Walk out the door. Scream, it's alive. A new resolution is to stop all the pollution. Talk too motherfucking much. Got my drink, I got my music. I said, bitch, don't kill my vibe. <laughs> That's my Kendrick Lamar cover. I'm gonna check my delay pedal real quick. I'm getting some weird feedback, so. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Nice, dude. All right, so this is Mikey D. He'll be right back on here. I'm going to do my little spiel at the end of the show that I always do. So, yeah, don't go. Oh, here, I'll get it. Oh, yeah, anyway. Without knocking it over. It's not what you want to do. Gonna have a bad time. Gonna have a bad time. Let's see. I always forget what's first. Oh, yes. We're going to give a shout out. We already did, but we're going to do it again. To the inspiration of this show, uh, for the most part, is Heatbox. He has an interactive game show. He's taking a little break because he had a baby. But uh, he's usually live on Twitch Tuesday nights from 6 to 9 p.m. You can catch all of his stuff, twitch.com slash heatbox64. You can also watch his YouTube channel if you want to watch past episodes. He brings friends and, you know, famous, locally, locally famous folks onto his show. And we all play video games in his basement. It's a very good time. So thank you, Heatbox, for giving me the confidence to put on my very own show, which is this show. And, you know, if you're here right now and you look at the table, there's a fun little flyer for you telling you about the Nomadic Get Down. The Nomadic Get Down is an outdoor festival, day festival, Sunday, September 23rd, right here at the Nomad World Pub featuring Reed Grimm, Dead Larry, a super group called Super Acoustic Bros, which is Heatbox, Reed Grimm, Alex Steele, and Nick Spielman. And uh, Mae Simpson will be there, and Smokin' Joe, myself, will also be there. Uh, gates are at noon the music starts at noon 30 there's kids 15 and under getting free and uh you know there's going to be food art crafts all that stuff so uh make sure that if if you don't know what you're doing sunday september 23rd you come on down to the nomad right here where we are but outside um so i guess in conclusion thank you all so much for being here uh for the live taping of the Smoke and Joe show. We will be back here next week and the week after that. And then after that, we're going to go back to the apartment uh, and have one guest at a time. It's going to be really easy compared to this. Uh, uh, but thank you all so much, and I'm going to have myself play us out. Because I'm with you through thick and thin Whatever trouble you are in I don't care whatever you do just know that I love you, oh, 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 I love you. You know, sometimes you got trouble, so many troubles, they're getting you down. But you don't have to worry about your troubles. No more, cause well, I'll always be around I'll, Because I'm with you Through thick and thin Whatever trouble you are in I don't care whatever you do Just know that I love you Whoa. I love you